Nonverbal Reasoning Type 15 Nets of Cubes Part 2 This is Part 2 of a five part series on Nets of Cubes. In this session, we will show you how a net can be folded to form a cube and how to determine which cube can be formed from the given net. In these types of questions, you are given a two-dimensional net of a cube. Your task is to choose from the answer figures which cube can be formed from the given net. What is a net? A net is a 2D representation of a 3D shape. The net can be folded to form the 3D shape that it represents. A net of a shape is what it would look like if that shape was opened out flat. How to identify the correct cube? One way of answering these questions is to determine which sides are opposite each other. If two sides or shapes are opposite each other, they can never be next to each other. By identifying the opposite sides of a cube, you can then start to eliminate diagrams from the answer choices. Examples Number 1 You are given a net of a cube and must find from amongst the answer choices the cube that can be formed from the net. Let's look at an animation on how this cube will be formed. We can identify the numbers that will be opposite each other and start to eliminate the wrong answer choices. We can see that 6 is opposite 2. We can eliminate A because 6 and 2 cannot be next to each other. 5 is opposite 1. We can eliminate B and E. 4 is opposite 3. We can eliminate D. The correct answer is C. Number 2. You are given a net of a cube and must find from amongst the answer choices the cube that can be formed from the net. Let's look at an animation on how this cube will be formed. We can identify the numbers that will be opposite each other and start to eliminate the wrong answer choices. We can see that 5 is opposite 2. We can eliminate A because 5 cannot be next to 2. 6 is opposite 3. We can eliminate C and D. 4 is opposite 1. We can eliminate B. The correct answer is E. For practice questions on nonverbal reasoning type 15 nets of cubes, visit us at www.11plusgenie.com.